Expand on your vocabulary. Amazing animals. In this lesson, we shall be looking at some examples of how the appropriate descriptive words can help to make your writing more specific and a lot more interesting. We will draw inspirations from some amazing animals. Let's begin with some facts about a fascinating animal. F is for frilled lizard. It is found in Australia. When the frilled lizard feels threatened, the large frill around its neck opens like an umbrella. It makes it look much larger and more intimidating than it is. This may help to fan off predators, but if it doesn't, then it would have to run up the nearest tree. The intimidating frilled lizard. Intimidating here means terrifying or to make timid. The frilled lizard looks intimidating or terrifying. If someone's body language or speech is making others fearful, this person is said to be intimidating. His authoritative voice is socially intimidating. The size of the opponent's supporters poses an intimidating presence. They found her scowling expression rather intimidating. In some culture, looking people in the eye is seen as intimidating. The bully's hostile glare was clearly intimidating. The intimidating group of teenagers demanded money from him. M is for meerkat. The meerkats are found in southern Africa. They are often seen in groups. These gregarious animals are well known for their upright posture. A few will typically serve as lookouts, watching for predators that can snatch them from the ground. Interestingly, they dig for scorpions, whose stings have no effect on them. The word gregarious was originally used to describe animals that live in groups. Not surprisingly, it is also used to describe people who like being in groups. In other words, a gregarious person is someone who is outgoing, sociable, and enjoy the company of other people. Being friendly and gregarious, he readily chats with people from all walks of life. As she was not a gregarious person, she often avoided social gatherings. She is naturally gregarious and thrives in social situations. A public relations job is probably a good fit for someone who is outgoing and gregarious. O is for opossum. The opossum is found in Central America and Canada. When threatened, they mimic the appearance and smell of a dead animal. This act of playing dead is a result of extreme fear on the opossum's part so it is actually involuntary as it goes into a comatose-like state as a result of a great shock. Solitary means existing alone, or, being alone. Unlike the meerkats, opossums are very solitary animals. So they are rarely seen together, except during breeding season. I spotted a solitary figure in the distance. He is a solitary type, who enjoys his own company. The Kung Fu master, retreated to the mountains, to live a solitary life. Shrek was a solitary ogre, who lived in a swamp. They met a solitary traveler, who was rambling along the river bank. S is for sloth. The sloth is the slowest mammal in the world. In fact, because they rarely move, they often grow algae on their fur. Sloths live in the rainforests of Central and South America and spend their entire lives hanging in trees. Somnolent means sleepy, or drowsy. The sloth is the most somnolent animal, sleeping from 15 to 18 hours a day. Someone who is somnolent is inclined to, or heavy with sleep. The mother placed the somnolent baby in his cot. It is best to avoid driving when you are somnolent. The medication made him somnolent. 
Her somnolent expression showed that she is still very tired. P is for platypus. The duck-billed platypus has a super-sensitive nose that is shaped like a bill. It is found in eastern Australia and Tasmania. Placid means pleasantly calm or peaceful. Although the male platypus looks placid, it is actually the most poisonous mammal in the world. A dingo, a wild dog, will be dead in minutes if the platypus strikes them with its poisonous pointy spur found on the inside of its ankle. Sam is not easily upset because he has a placid personality. The waiters were placid and friendly and did not seem to mind the noise from the customers. Although he was going through a difficult time, he was still placid and easygoing. Despite being locked in a horrific traffic jam, Davina had remained quite placid. Please subscribe to this channel, All Abbott English, for the latest updates.